Alright guys, welcome back. Alright, so I've been testing the deck this past couple weeks. And so far, it's, uh, I've liked how it's performed, right? Like, it's it's very simplistic of, uh, of the route it's meant to do. The I mean, I would like it to be a little bit more versatile. Like, it's basically a sold it turbo, right? Like, but if you can um, find a way to, like, do other things before you get to your primary play, which is a sold day. So you can uh, make sure that if you go second, you can consistently do something else and try to bait stuff out before you do it <clears throat> that's the whole I guess that's the whole like thing I'm trying to figure out right now cuz like I mean going first like odds are you're gonna get a combo off right cuz like there's nothing there's not many things that can interrupt you like they, they need to have impermanence they need to have um, gamma right or I should just snipe the cards out of their hands you just get rid of like cuz you play it play triple dolphin like I really like this triple dolphin is just amazing I mean you don't have to open up connector. You just, uh, this could be one of the warriors, and while well, this gets you that, and that's how you play around Hendra. It's so like upping that. It's, it's insane because you, you can special this, trigger that. It's like it's not an issue. Um, of course you have your topple. Um, then you have, of course, you have your your tuner, which is what you need to get things going, right? Like, like I said before. Um, to do the combo, you're gonna need three warriors, right? You either need connector and uh, an extender, or you need um, two warriors and a distrudo, or you need um, two warriors and a DDR, right? Or just this and a DDR, because that's the only way you can um, have enough materials to go into a soul day and then into into um, summon sorcerers, and summon sorcerers gives you the topple. Like that's that's the whole, like that's what you need, right? Which is your malicious. Um, I, I bumped up Lich again because like since I hired the the card count because uh, a lot of you uh, have been trying um, Cody's list which plays 40 and he just loops your hand um, but I like I said I just like the the PK engine a lot like I, I really prefer it um, you play your so you play um, your three uh, Neo Space Neo Space Connector three Blue Mountain Butter Spy three Gen Forward three Neo Space Aqua Dolphin Three Doppel Warrior, three Destrudo, two Destiny Hero Malicious, one Dark Raffer, one Armageddon Knight, uh, one Mare Mare. Then you have your Black Wings, which is uh, Black Wings Zephyr, the Elite, Black Wings Team the Cloak. You have your Phantom Knights of, of Ancient Cloak, and it's funny, two Cloaks. <laughs> um, then you have your Phantom Knights of Silent Boot, and you have your, of course, your Jet Synchron and your Global. Right? These are just one ofs, like uh, basically. Uh, your warriors get you to this, and then this helps you get into your, your, your extra deck, right? And then of course you have your one ups. You have um, let's put, this, uh, let's put them on here. Okay, so you have your uh, let's put it here. Yeah, okay. Uh, you have your your army, your your rota, your reinforcements of the army. You have your uh, full burial. You have uh, out of this. Uh, I know a lot of you like playing more than one, but like I feel like. You kind of want to minimize the bricks, like it's a once per turn type of thing. Whereas, like, play multiples of this because you need to get to that. Whereas this is just an extender that you you, you do need, but not need need. Does that make sense? It, like, if you draw, it's amazing. <clears throat> but I think just one's enough. Like, I don't know, play one. I mean, I guess you can bump it up to two or three if you wanted to. But I've been trying out with just one, and it's been doing fun. And then you have your monster born, and you have your bells, right? And then you have, of course. Or triple DR because that's how you you draw into and then hopefully either um, bring back uh, the banished jet in case you're missing a level one tuner like in case you can't get to it and then of course you have your three call by the grave and then you triple tune twister because head traps you just want to play around it and then of course you have your phantom knights shades of brigadine and then uh, Falkley um yeah i i just re i just really going to like really like this engine like it's like it's like a backup plan it's a contingency plan if you get disrupted and you you're not able to do the full combo but you can still like end on double double um effect negation and then like slow them down enough and then just try to try to do something the next turn <clears throat> it's not really like um but yeah so far the boost has been pretty good like 
it's been, it's been pretty consistent other other than the times when you open up like your one ups but that's like that doesn't really happen as often as you as like as, uh, as you would think and even if it does happen there's there's ways you can kind of improvise and try to get to the combo you're meant to get to um but for that it requires a little bit of, a little bit of uh, thinking on the spot right like that's something that's uh, <laughs> a lot of you still haven't got got um gotten used to yet because you guys are the majority of the player base are used to having a sit route and in the minute that route gets gets disrupted and hindered you have to redirect and then a lot of you have issues redirecting and um that's something that you, you have to slowly develop as a player because in the long run it's just based off experience once you once you play long enough you you'll know okay you'll be able to link things and be like you know and then it'll be it'll be, it'll be much more fluid uh, as the longer you play especially these type of decks they're really high sequence um it's not really meant to grind <clears throat> and um yeah <laughs> um so and then what else all oh, the extra deck I just want to say the extra oh, oh another thing as well right um what is this? okay so the extra deck is gonna be thank you Brandon <laughs> So Sari Yuja, you have your Summon Sorcerers, your Rusty, your Asolde, and then you have your the main I guess the main guys, like these two you you, you loop your one hand with the more GDRs you have. Which is kinda of the kinda of, kinda of the, the dilemma you face, right? You wanna uh, like dilute and uh, make sure you filter your deck to where you don't draw these so you bump up the warrior count. So you can just draw the multiple warriors instead of this or this. But you kinda wanna like it's, kind of weird. it's in a weird spot because like you want to get to these right that's like that's what you want to do you want to guaranteed like consistently draw into these but you don't want to draw into this so it's like oh man it's, it's like oh what do you do like damn i don't know but then you, know, then you have omega you have uh yazi you have your dragster you have your double librarian and then you have i'll just put it up um yeah you have your excel you have your Christian Quandax. This guy's amazing. Um, um, Marshall Metal Marcher. Your Formula Synchron. And then your Shaman. And then, of course, um, when you side out, because I side in the Synchros, right? <clears throat> when I, whenever you go second, I side in. Because, uh, like, when you go second against particular matchups, like, these don't really do anything, right? Like, your Donk Dragster. And, like, odds are. You're probably not gonna resolve double librarian, so you just side these four out depending on what the matchup is, <clears throat> and uh, you just put it in the sinkers. But like sometimes I just leave double librarian sometimes, but majority of the time I side these out, and then uh, depending on the matchup and depending how I feel, like oh you know what I, I can afford to keep this, uh, you, you put these in. Um, of course I was playing Bra before, but like this guy is just so good because it's so easy to make. He's level seven. I need to do is get mom um, get uh. uh I'm gonna get a knight. <laughs> and he just came in so good, it just bounced. And um and attacks again, which is really really good. But especially when you make can make these two. Like odds are you have a link, and then you attack, bounce it, attack again, attack four to six, and then attack one like, that's the most uh, most likely game. <laughs> so I really like that. And then of course like against boards that are like like multiple colossus, multiple negates, like if you can find a way to like uh, negate um burn the the abyss or the crystal wing. And then just and and then making this after like that's insane, dude. That's like so huge, especially especially against Thunder Dragons. You bounce like multiple Colossuses. It's just really good. And then uh, this against um, Ultra Geist and uh, Sky Striker. Like against Sky Striker, um, the side deck is well. Okay, just let me show. You. Well, I'll talk to you about it after. <laughs> but like this is mainly against uh, Ultra Geist, Sky Striker, of any backward deck. Because when you re reboot them, and then you just bring out this, and but you gotta make sure. You 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 make <laughs> you make savage because if you fall into waking it's gonna be real annoying. And same thing for Trish, same thing for this. Like just basically board breakers, um, bounces. Uh, Stone Stone Dragon's amazing. Just bounce it. And it just it keeps bouncing every turn, once per turn. And then of course you have uh, uh, where's that? Your side deck, right? Which is uh, very simplistic, right? You I play Hatred against Strike Striker. Rare Reboot against Backward X or Altergeist. Uh, and of Kaiju. But I, I also put this against Salomon Great. Put these, I put these against Salomon Great. Because like you Kaiju the Link, 
it shuts down their the back row. I guess it's similar similar to what what, ha what happens if you do it to, to Sky Striker. So you put setting in Sky Striker, and then you and then you make um you make what's his face? Oh. You make Phoenix, right? Because it can't use their stuff. But it's a bit risky though, because like what if what if they have like a like a random call by the grave that they can still use, or like a chalice, or like or something, something like that, or like a strike on permanence. So it, you have to kind of be like you kind of have to gauge it yourself. Where should I do the kaiju? Or should I just you know, it, it depends. But like, I think kaijuing and then getting rid of all the spells and traps is insane. Because it's like you get rid of everything. Like it's, and then odds are you're gonna be able to king. And also, this works against um, ego booster because it's so annoying. Because um. I mean, I guess you kind of can OTK, but like, it's kind of hard to get over the the the, the, the Shizuki that's immune and can't be from a battle. So just kaiju it away. Um, but yeah, that like so far I've been liking how the deck's been going. It's been it's been doing really really cool. They have regionals on the 10th next month, which is I'm pretty excited for. So um, I'm gonna try to get this deck ready. It might say the same, it might not, but I feel like I'm going to have to end up changing it because there's some things that I feel like can be better. Um, like I said, you want to be able to just do other things before you do your primary play, which is a soul day, and then a soul day gets you your, your actual sequence going. Um, which is why I've been trying, like, I wasn't, I wasn't sure, like, if you want to play hand traps or not, like, like, cut the PK engine and put in hand traps, because, like, you, like, you just only oh, just two warriors. So like game uh, turn zero if you don't go first, just interact and just have two warriors and then you get your combo going. Like, like, why wouldn't you do that? Um, but then again, if you do that, it means you 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 end up. Um, I guess uh, you won't open your, your your the wars you want as much. So that's like oh damn like I'm gonna show what what you actually wanna do. And I was thinking of siding or siding siding is this as well because. You just bring it out with that, and it's just it's just an infinite bounce, like against like big uh, like Thunder Dragon stuff, or just like stuff that, it, that can be targeted. You know, like I really like that, but I'm not too sure. It's something that's just something to consider. And then of course this is the new edition. If you watched the video uh, when I did the box opening, <laughs> I, I I ended up getting two, and then I needed one more, and then I, I ended up getting a box. I was like, yes, I freaking got the third one. So basically, the whole the whole po the whole purpose of this, right? It's to okay. So like like I said before, let me just let me just put this aside so it can make much more sense. So like if everything's just in the way. Okay. So you to do the combo, you're gonna need either connector and uh, and a warrior extender. <clears throat> right, Daniel. Um. So you're gonna need either 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 of these, right? One and either of this, or you're gonna need two warriors and. Uh, and the Distrudo or um, a DDR. So like the odds of that happening, it's, it's quite likely that you'll end up having this. Like if, if you don't have this, then that's just unfortunate. Like you can only be so consistent. But yeah, like th those are your variations, right? So you either open up connector, any of the warriors, or you open up two warriors and either one of these. And that gives you the combo. <clears throat> Which is why, which which brings me to why I want to play this because this is this basically because like to the reason this is there is to it's the, the level three that you need to synchro with Doppel and this is basically the same thing. It's, it's uh, so you have a lot of level three you can special it. It takes the, it takes its place and there's sometimes where you don't want to use the Strudo because you're gonna go into time and then sometimes you want to save the Strudo so you can make uh, Metal Marcher because you target your Librarian and then you have one spare token. Uh, if you remember the combo, there's the one spare token. Sometimes you don't get to your level one, so then uh, you just uh, Target your librarian, it becomes a level two, and then that's how you make your metal marcher. Your metal marcher brings back a uh, level two, and then you make um, you draw two, and then you special summon the shaman, and then you go into savage and dragster. Like, that's really really cool. And um, the fact that you can like pop things as well, it's really really awesome. So, um, in doing so, right, which is why you see the morning captain, since you you require to have a level three, right? So, you're already playing pretty basically nine. Because it's basically three of this, three dolphin, and this basic case of dolphin. And um, the reason why I want to play is um, this. Cause it's a level three. It's a warrior. It, it, it can bring out multiple things out of your hand, like summon, special dolphin, special this, and that's combo. Like uh, that's what you want to see. You want to be able to keep, um, be persistent until where you, you you get to what you want to do. But then again, it's like it's all leading to that one route, which brings me to that point that. 
The minute you set a side deck card, and you know that if you see that side deck card, it'll stop any hinders that normally would hinder you, is I think it's worth it. <laughs> that's insane. And then of course, um, I cut the one from one because like I don't know, like I've, I've been going back and forth on it, and most of the time it's like ah, oh, it's a bit like ah, uh, eh. like it gets to the one level one two you need, but like. I, if, if this was um, if succession was this at the, in the tournaments, I think I would have lost because <laughs> it, it wouldn't do really do much for me. But um, yeah, it's just I was just testing it to see if, if I actually needed it or not, and so far it, it, it did fine without it. Um, and plague, of course, is basically makes metal marcher the same scenario to where if you would use this making a level two when you have that spare token. Um, if you haven't seen a combo, um, I'll, I'll link I'll link the combo at the end so you can see what I mean. If you're new to the to, to the build of the deck, and then of course I've been trying out um, the hero engine as well. It's because like one card I sold it. That's basically what it is. It's just this gets you bubble man, special bubble man, you know. And it's the same thing because like you 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 play other like play four more of that. So it's basically giving you like a lot of one card I sold it. It's and I, that that why wouldn't you want that? It's really cool, and the fact that. The, the little niche effect that if you have no cards in hand, you can draw it and special and draw two. It comes up more than you think. And then, of course, I was thinking of like this as well. But I don't know. It just feels like. I think. Uh, keep it as simple. I think that's where it needs to be. But high in the ceiling it just makes it to where you can do a lot of obscure plays, but it just lowers the consistency so that's a dilemma i'm in right now because like i do i want to do i want do i want to be flashy and like be like like a wild card type of thing where it's hard to play around or be very consistent very basic but lower the ceiling so like if a, a particular sequence gets stopped then you just end you know but i think consistency is a very important um, but that's basically going to be it. Hopefully I answered any of your questions that you might have have been uh, having. Um, I'll, I'm going to do another video because uh, a lot of you want to do want me to do deck profile with this Ohio build, right? Because you just want to know like, oh, which build is better? Like, because um, uh, you guys want to play the, the bring of the double dragons. But if you do this route, you have to sacrifice a lot of utility. Like you could even play Yazi. And you, you have to cut the, the, the link, the PK link, because um, you gotta make room for these guys. And that's like very, very, like, I don't know. But of course, it's cool. That, but if you take this route, that would mean that the main deck has to have utility cards, like Twister or like Hand Traps. Because, like, like I said, even even this build right now, it's not meant to be toolboxy. But you at least have, like, like twisters in the main because like the, the combo sequence is very simplistic whereas this is like it's the same route but like you're gonna need to have make up for it because like you can't you don't, you don't even have a Yazi pop so that's like you got, you're gonna have to make up with the, through within the main deck and that's not lower consistency as well so it's ah it, you know it, it's it, it, that's the that's, I guess it's a, that's the fun and frustrating part about deck building like you 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 kind of have an idea of what's the problem but then you you don't want to, I guess. You just don't want to. You just don't want the one to like want that problem to be the issue because you want it to work. If that makes sense. <laughs> but anyways, man, that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be it. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching.